We're back at 1047 and we love these stories here at Fox 61. An eighth grader from Bloomfield has been named the Connecticut Spelling Bee champion. He is the champion and we want to hear more about him. So joining us right now this morning is Charles Fennell. First off, congratulations, Charles. Tell us about what was going through your mind when you got your final word. Uh, my main emotions were excitement and relief. I'd put countless hours into spelling, lots of hard work and effort, and the end result paid off. Now tell us what your final word was, Charles. My final word was cataphora. C-A-T-A-P-H-O-R-A, -A -A, cataphora. Now did you have any doubt in your mind when you heard the word, when you were like, this is my final word, did you have any doubt in your mind that you weren't going to get it right, or did you know like a thousand percent, I got this one? I knew the word right from the beginning, um, and when I got the word, I was excited. I took my time and slowly spelled the word, hoping to enunciate every single syllable, and then I got it right. Now, this competition went two and a half hours, ten rounds. Were you nervous throughout that? That's a long time to sort of be on edge. Um, I've competed in the last spell meets before, so I wasn't as nervous as I used to be, but um, there was still some pressure to do well. Yeah, now you tell me, is there a way that you approach studying for the spelling bee? Um, What's usually, your advice? usually, I would try to memorize words and I learn roots, word roots, mm -hmm. and patterns as well as I'd study where the words came from as certain languages have different spelling patterns that you can learn so you'll know how to spell the words. Yeah. Now, what got you interested in spelling bees to begin with? Um, the main things that got me interested in spelling bees were watching kids from my hometown compete in spelling bees, as well as watching spelling bee related movies, watching those, watching my fellow kids, watching local spellers from Bloomfield motivated me it made me think, hey, I could do this too. Well, you sure did. I have to ask you, Charles, before we run out of time. You've already become the champion, spelling bee champion for Connecticut. You're going to go to the national championship. But what do you foresee? What are your goals in the future? I think people watching at home are saying, what does this guy want to be? He's got great things ahead of him. Um, I'm currently undecided on a career path. There are a lot of choices out there, and I want to pick the best one for me. Absolutely. Well, you are on your way. We're going to be rooting you on at the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Charles, thanks so much for talking with us. And once again, congratulations. Great job. We're so proud of you. Thank you for having me. What an incredible young man. Yeah, I mean, that's great to see. Yeah. Uh, Charles, don't worry. Eighth grade, you don't have to have a career path. No, I mean, I yet. just thought maybe he would yeah. say, oh, I might want to do this or I might want to do that. But he's clearly taking a lot of thought. Yeah, and spelling is uh, the English language, I feel like, has to be the hardest for spelling. So I'd love to know what he wanted, how he practiced. Yeah. You know, how do you work to become a spelling bee champion? But, yeah, he said, like, study the roots of the word. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of Latin, yeah. well, none of which I know. Me so, either. Me either. Right there. All right, we <laughs> wish him well. Do Connecticut proud.